All right, brace yourselves. The cicadas are coming back. And this year will be more plentiful than ever for the first time in 200 years. Wow, not one, but two cicada groups are set to appear at the same time. It's what they call a, a dual emergence. Let's bring in uh, an expert to talk more about this. Uh, May Baronbaum joins us now to talk uh, about how rare it is for these two different uh, broods to emerge at the same time. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Hi. So how rare is it that we're seeing this uh, at the same time? Well, um, uh, it, many places here, but uh, uh, in, the, in the U.S., but really, I guess you could say uh, um, Cicada Central is in uh, uh, Illinois, Central Illinois, uh, extending through Chicago. So we're really kind of fortunate. This is, uh, as as was said, this the last time this happened was in 1803 when Thomas Jefferson was president. Wow. Uh, didn't some cicadas just emerge uh, a few years ago? Uh, because the city was really covered with them not long ago, it seems. Or was that a different group? Uh, there are many different kinds of cicadas. Uh, the type that, are, that everyone's talking about are called the periodical cicadas. And these are the ones that come out only at intervals of 13 years or 17 years. Every August, we get what are called dog day cicadas. Um, their annual cicadas come out um, uh, every year or every other year. But the periodical cicadas are the, are the spectacular ones. Mm. And there's seven species of them. We're very fortunate here in Illinois, we have all seven. All seven? Wow, we're so lucky. We are so lucky. Um, is there anything uh, we can do about them? Uh, because, you know, a lot of people aren't crazy about the crunchy feeling when they walk outside. <laughs> well, um, uh, there's not much to do. They're going to crunch if you step on them. I guess <laughs> if you step around them, you won't hear the crunch. But you will hear uh, the the singing of the, uh, the well, in different places will have different uh, species, different um, what are called broods. Uh, so the 13 and 17 year cicadas, there's of the seven species, there are four that are 13 year cycles and three that are 17 year cycles. But the, each um, within these species, they have different starting points. So what you will hear this year when the the what's called the uh, the night the brood 19, which is the great southern brood, and brood brood 13, which is a 17 year cicada called the northern Illinois brood, come mm -hmm. out at the same time, is singing that will reach decibels of 90 to 100. Wow. That's like basically standing on the tarmac at O'Hare oh. and listening to jets take off. Goodness. And, you know, 90 decibels is what your iPhone will warn you about uh, not exposing yourself to. So it's really, uh, really uh, an amazing natural spectacle. People will come to Illinois, certain people, <laughs> actually for this experience. <laughs> Others will try to flee, but. Um, yeah, like me. Anyway. I will try to flee like and it. I'll stay inside. Um, talk about the role cicadas play in nature? Well, the reason people have wondered about why, uh, you know, most insects are on sort of uh, more reasonable uh, cycles, uh, you know, they appear every year, every couple of years. Uh, what uh, selection, what evolutionary forces led to this odd um, life cycle? And the idea is the cicadas are basically harmless. They don't have any way of defending themselves. They don't mm. Uh, bite. They can't sting. Um, they can't fly away really quickly. They're not incredibly good flyers. So the only uh, defense that they have is sort of saturating their predators. So being a, a present in such numbers that just by force of numbers, some will escape predation. Wow. The predators will become satiated. There's more than, than all the predators that eat cicadas can possibly consume. That's how they survive. And these um, irregular periods, 13 and 17, uh, huh. it's hard for predators uh, to, to track those the population changes. Okay. Interesting stuff. I'm sure this is not the, the last conversation we will have with you about these uh, cicadas. I love the positive spin you put on it, too. They're, they're singing. I consider it yelling and screaming. But, uh, May, so, so great to meet you. So great to talk with you as well. Uh, say again, say. Oh, so great to speak with you. Oh, oh, oh my pleasure. And, and uh, I, I encourage people to, to listen uh, and experience. It's, it's really unlike anything I... I can um, think of it's for comparison. For insect experiences, you can't beat it. I can see the excitement in your face. Uh, thanks, thanks again for your time. Thank you for your interest.